when Sam Hodges was rejected for a loan almost 100 times for his budding gym franchise, he decided to start Funding Circle, which helps small businesses bypass banks to secure funding through peer-to-peer -peer lending, or marketplace lending if you prefer. Let's find out how these small companies are putting capital to work. Sam Hodges is here. He's co-founder and U.S. Managing Director of Funding Circle. Did Eric get that right 100 times? 96 times. Went out and talked to banks and other specialty finance companies and couldn't get a loan to save our life. And how do you go from saying, I'm going to be a guy running gyms, to taking the <laughs> lending practice into your own hands? Well, my co-founder and I, had uh, we'd worked in New York in kind of traditional financial services earlier, as well as in technology. And uh, we'd raised lots of money for a variety of different projects. And so it just was crazy to us when we had this great gym. It was growing. It had cash flow. It had good assets. We couldn't get a $100,000 loan to save our life. And so the more we What year was it, this? This is uh, 2009, actually, mm. today. The business still exists. And so we just saw that problem and realized there's really a structural gap in the market. And so that's what inspired us to start uh, what's now Funding Circle. But is it a lot harder for you today? Because if you think about lending practices in 2008, 2009, they were really tight from bigger organizations. And those big banks have now loosened things up. And they seem to be advertising, at least, that they're welcoming small businesses. So is your business getting tougher to execute now that we're in more lending-friendly environment? Well, I guess the way we see it, you know, smaller, smaller loans, loans under $1 million actually have gone down by 3 to 5 percent every year since the financial crisis. And that's simply because it, banks have a really hard time doing that line of business profitably. It's really expensive to acquire the loans. It's expensive to process mm -hmm. them. And our approach, which uses technology to make it a really efficient experience, not only for us but also for the borrower, really means that we can go out and serve these small businesses in a way that a bank would have a hard time doing. Richard Shelby, chairman of the Senate Banking Committee, wants to roll back some of the restrictions that Dodd-Frank placed on American banks, particularly community banks, the kinds of lenders that might compete with your platform if, again, it weren't so expensive to do so. If he's successful, do you think you'll see more competition from the banks that used to do what you do? But potentially, but I guess the way we see it is we, we can be a partner with the bank. Well, our, what our model actually offers is a way for them to, in a, in a highly efficient way, deliver financing to a small business. And actually, what we're working on right now are a whole set of partnerships with large commercial banks, but actually smaller banks as well. Why don't you take this opportunity to describe for us in a little bit more detail how Funding Circle works? Because there are lots of marketplace lenders, lots of peer-to-peer -peer lenders, and it, I think, Stephanie? I also need to understand why they need you. If you are a big commercial bank or a smaller bank still, I still don't understand why they would need your help. Sure. So if you're a smaller bank, what you'll probably have is basically a really finite set of resources, both in terms of the technology infrastructure you have, as well but as the people resources working on loan origination. Well, we've got 300 people globally, and a, a third of those are t our technologists, the people mm. who are building our, building our product. And so what we've built is a really compelling web interface. It's very simple. We can gather a lot of data quickly. And so from, from a bank's perspective, again, this is a really efficient way to onboard a customer and offer them a great experience. But what, so let's go back. What makes you different mm -hmm. from peer-to-peer -peer or marketplace yeah. lenders that people may have heard of? like Lending Club, for example, or On Deck. Sure. So the biggest difference um, around our model versus the other ones that are out there is, number one, we're 100% focused on small business. That's all we do. If you look at Lending Club or Prosper or many of the other marketplace yeah. lenders, their, their business really is on the consumer side. Relative to an On Deck, what we offer is a much lower rate, longer term loan. We offer term loans between one and five years, price between 6 and 21 percent. So for a growing business that's looking for expansion capital, this is a very, very fairly priced product that matches well to the funding And you take needs. no credit risk, right? That's correct. So our approach is as a marketplace. We have a mix of individual and institutional investors who are, in effect, investing through us. And what's the biggest risk to your business? Well, at this point, it's really around just driving operational scale, right? We're, we're just scratching the surface on a many hundred billion dollar opportunity, both in the U.S. and the U.K., the two countries where we're, where we're operating. And, you know, the small business landscape is highly fragmented. So it's, for us, it's about building brand awareness, and it's around profitably acquiring customers and all the channels through which we do that. And it's an algorithm vetting potential uh, customers, I guess you call yeah. them? Yeah. So our approach is, is hybridized. And what that means is we have Say a... Say word again? It's, it's a hybrid approach. So we have a data-driven uh, kind of score up front, which allows us to filter out borrowers who simply aren't qualified for a funding, funding circle loan, but then borrowers who get through that have the chance to speak with a commercial underwriter, which also really gives them the ability to explain their story, and it gives us a much, much better grasp of the underlying credit quality. Sam, how much visibility do you have into what your customers effectively are going to use the loans for? It's, it's one of the factors we look at very carefully, and what our model really is geared to do is to fund expansion in a small business. This kind of stuff, right? 
capital, the, the acquisition of capital goods. We're exactly what you were trying to do with the gyms. That's exactly you right. You were your ideal customer. In, in a lot of ways, we were. And, you know, that's one of the things we feel really proud about is we're building a product that we, we needed. And, and what kind of, so you see loan level stuff. What, in the world of American small business, do you see expansion? Are American small businesses borrowing money more aggressively? Does that suggest to you I'm anything about the pace down. of the economy? What do you think the economy looks like, given your vantage point? From our vantage point, we continue to see a recovery. We continue to see lots of great small businesses that are diversified across sector and across geography looking to expand. And I can give you plenty of great examples. Yeah, give us some examples. What are they sure. investing in? So uh, one example, it's a, it's a company called Live Well Private Care. It's based mm. in Southern California, started by a really impressive woman named uh, Dorica Beckett. Um, her experience taking care of her mother-in-law in the last year of her life made her realize that there's just a huge need for at-home care services. She took out a $150,000 loan from us to expand a new location. And since she's taken out that loan, she's actually doubled the revenue. And this year alone, in 2015, she expects actually to quadruple it. And there are lots of stories just like that where businesses are investing behind opportunities and really being able to expand. Are you seeing specific industries or sectors not do so well? When you look at the strong dollar or other factors, are there some possible uh, clients that you thought maybe we're going to be more in vogue right now, and they're just not. There, there haven't really been any major surprises. I mean, we do see some exporters, but you know, the majority of small businesses really are much more domestically focused, so the dollar doesn't have a major impact on them. Um, we definitely see, you know, in terms of core retail businesses, services, logistics, CPG, healthcare services, health and wellness, really across the board, a lot of growth and expansion opportunity. Sam, how long till you go public? <laughs> not something on the, uh, the near-term roadmap. Why not? Well, you know, we were actually just able to raise a, a private round a couple months ago. We raised $150 million in equity from DST Global, a fund managed by BlackRock, Sands Capital, Tomasek, um, Bally Gifford. It was a great round that came together quickly. And, and what that, that's been able to uh, allow us to do is to continue to grow the business the way we want to. So that's really the focus of building a great business. You know, at some point we may try to go public, but not part of the near-term plan. If Tomasek and BlackRock are giving you money, you know, I'm pretty sure if you need any more, you could tap them. They have some. <laughs> Sam, thank you very much. Congratulations. Such a great story. Thanks. Thanks great having you here. Sam Hodges of Funding Circle.